Newcastle disease virus can infect chickens all age ranges. From young age to adult chickens during low immunity or no immunity. In the commercial chicks, there is a form of innate immunity. Maternally derived antibodies or MDA with a high level of antibody titers. These immunity is that come from the parent. Then in the first week after hatching. The chicks more resistant to virus infection in the field. MDA level is going down over time, until the immunity can disappear at weeks 3 and 4. Then the chicks will be susceptible to virus attacks. To overcome this, the chicks need to create active immunity through vaccination. In the commercial chicks, vaccination ND is always given in the first week. Especially on day 1 post-hatch. In this video, chickens have been vaccinated ND live and kill ND vaccines at once. ND Live the vaccination at day 1 post-hatch aims to provide local immunity. But this is less protective when no antibodies. Antibodies will not be formed by this vaccination, because the level of MDA is too high. And it will neutralize live vaccine. While, kill ND vaccine given at the age of 1 day will also not optimal. Only few antibodies to be formed by this vaccine, when the chicken will be 4 weeks old. Then, at week 3 is a very vulnerable time for chickens to virus attacks. Normally MDA titer levels began to fall towards the week 3, then. When the MDA lower level are the right time to do repeat vaccinations to obtain enough. Antibodies, usually breeders will conduct a second vaccination. When chicken towards the age of 3 weeks with a live vaccine. Expected towards the week 4 and week 5. Vaccinations given at day 1 post-hatch and second vaccination can provide sufficient immunity. The second vaccination is crucial. Because first vash on C with live vaccines are prone to failure. Due to the level of MDA is still too high. Thus, if second vaccination failure, such as vaccination process that does not run properly or defective vaccine, then in week 3 the chicken does not have a strong immunity. At week 4 is formed only few antibodies from the vaccination first kill. It's not enough. Then, during the third week and the fifth are a very vulnerable time for chickens to virus attacks. Rarely find enough titer level in this age range. ND virus will cause high mortality if chicken contains only very low levels of antibody titers. The virus will cause respiratory symptoms, depressi, tremors and sudden death. Specific pathological symptoms are easier to find. After the death of decline, or a few weeks after infection, Many chickens with symptoms of torticollis found. Thus, the second vaccination has the most important role to protect the chickens during the third week until the fifth. In the fifth week, the third vaccination is done by using live vaccine and kill vaccine to protect chickens until before adulthood. Thus, rarely found high mortality due to Newcastle disease virus and commercially chickens, but other symptoms can still occur in chickens with high titers. The phenomenon of Newcastle disease virus infection in chickens with sufficient titers will be different. Follow us, subscribe to our channel. A lot of other interesting information will be published as a learning material. Do not forget to subscribe and share this video link to others. Thanks.